Hey, this is Frugal Tech, and welcome to another Best Under video. Not everybody's got a big budget to spend on, you know, gaming hardware, peripherals, etc. So what I do is I find the best-selling items on Amazon, and I make videos about them. Now, a lot of times, you get a really good product at a great price. And for that gamer in your life, here's the best-selling wireless gaming mouse on Amazon as of the date of this recording. It. And I need to let you know that I paid for this with my own funds. Um, no one's reviewed this video prior to posting, and all opinions are my own. This is an excellent value for a gaming mouse. So we're going to talk about it a little bit more right now. So this is the Logitech G602 wireless gaming mouse. And first, let's talk about the design of the mouse. It's designed to be comfortable, really, really comfortable in the hand. You can see as I grip it, uh, Logitech went kind of an extra step here and actually made the right click button a little bit longer than the left. You notice that my middle finger is longer than my right or my left finger on here. That's a nice touch. Now, there's no additional weights that come with the mouse, um, which may be a good or bad thing, but you can remove one of the double-A batteries back here and uh, to reduce a little bit of weight if you find this a little bit too heavy for you. There's some rubber-like material on the top right here and just makes it feel a little bit more premium, I think. Now, the, the action of the buttons are very satisfying, nice clicks on here. The buttons are rated at 20 million clicks on this thing, so it should, you'll probably end up losing or breaking the thing before the, the buttons actually wear out on it. Measures about five and a half by, uh, in length, about five and a half inches by 3.3 .3 inches in width and about 1.7 inches in height for this mouse. Works with Windows, Mac, all the usual suspects on there. Nice weight. And I think that the button placement is very well done. Easy to get to your DPI settings on here by just quickly, uh, quickly clicking on these buttons. You can go between 250 to 2500 DPI on this mouse. Okay, so let's talk about some of the features of the mouse. Now, this button right up here is very, very interesting. That uh, is a two position switch between performance mode and endurance mode. When I pull it down, you have a green light. That tells us it's endurance mode. You get up to 1400 hours of battery life with that, but that slows the polling rate way down to like 125 hertz. Click it up, now you have about 250 hours of battery life, and that is in performance mode, and that moves the polling rate all the way up to 500 hertz on the mouse. Another interesting feature on here is the placement of the DPI. Again, I think uh, it's just very, very handy to be able to quickly adjust your DPI settings on there. Very, very nice. You have up to 11 programmable buttons. Uh, the kind of your uh, forward, back, et cetera, is located down the bottom. This button down here, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but that actually is a pre-programmed to tell you your battery life. That actually changes when your batteries get low on here. Nice middle click wheel. Nice smooth action on that. Features Logitech's Delta Zero sensor. No, I don't know how well it work on glass. I don't really have a glass surface to really test it with right off the moment. But it's worked on everything else really fine, including the laminate on my desk. No issue. And even if I lay it down on the, uh, on the computer there, it works just fine. The mouse also comes with an off and on switch. Save you some battery life when you take it out and about or you don't plan on using it for any length of time. It comes with a wireless receiver. Very small. This is not the unifying receiver. This is not Bluetooth mouse. It's just strictly a wireless, a wireless uh, receiver on, on the mouse. Just plug it back into your USB port. That's back in there. Okay, so let's take a quick overview of the Logitech gaming software and configuration of the G602. First thing I gotta say is, uh, this is a 4K display on the uh, Asus UX501. Uh, here's the problem. The Logitech gaming software um, does not 
uh, scale for 4K. So I had to go and do some research because it was like super tiny on the display. Apparently this is a, a bug in the software or a complaint that people have had for a long time. This is not gonna be a showstopper for like 99.9% .9 of you that, that don't have a, a 4K display on your laptop. At any rate, this is a Logitech theming software and this is where we can come in and start changing the configuration around. Now by programmable, there's like three macro buttons right here and you can just click on there and you can uh, edit this for what you want to want to do. So you can create, you know, shortcut keys, etc. You can use this with video editing as well as gaming or, you know, audio editing. Something where you have those routine keystrokes you could make those changes with. I'm sure quite a number of you watching this video are already familiar with the Logitech software. Change your DPI settings uh, in here as well from 250 all the way to 2500, which you would then access very quickly with the mouse right here. If you can see, boom, 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 get the idea. Do whatever you're going to do on there, and then you can export the profile of the of the mouse and, and save these profiles and use them for you know. I have maybe you have a profile for Doom. You got another one for. Uh, another game, etc. You can do that with the mouse. So all in all, here's the thing. I, I think for around $40, that's the current price on Amazon. It, Amazon affiliate link down below. I don't think you can ask a whole lot more out of a, a wireless gaming mouse. So what is it that I like about this mouse? Well, the comfort, the battery life, the responsiveness, the build quality is all, in my opinion, pretty much top notch. What I don't like about this this uh, mouse is I would hope that it would have came with the Logitech unifying receiver and we kind of have this whole wireless Logitech ecosystem but that's kind of niggly on especially this good of a product at this low price. And the other thing is because that my UX501 uh, has a 4k display the Logitech gaming software has not been optimized for a 4K display, and I had to do a little bit of research and to kind of figure out how to actually make that scale to where I could actually go in and make the changes on it. But again, this is probably not an issue for 99.9% .9 of the people out there at this time. So for 40 bucks, and of course my Amazon affiliate link down below, uh, this represents, I think, a really good value for that, that gamer who wants a comfortable mouse with great battery life, wireless, doesn't want to deal with the wire, you know, maybe they want to take it with them on the road with their gaming laptop, or a good all-around mouse. It's going to be tough to beat the Logitech G602 wireless gaming mouse. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.